Good morning Pisces! Welcome to my channel, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. A timeless reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Today I'm going to be um, using for the first time my Peanut Girl Tarot, which is really cute. I am very excited to share it with you guys. You can get this one on Etsy.com if you're interested. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for stopping by, clicking on this video. I love spending this time with you all. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is the Pisces Club. I invite you, if you're a Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or a Cross Watcher, make sure to become a part of the Pisces Club because every single day you're going to get something out of this club. All right. Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. These are kind of slippery. I'm going to do a count across instead. First, we've got the Two of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Alright, Pisces. So, some of you guys could be um, thinking about two things. Two people, two options, two jobs. You're contemplating two possibilities. And right now, Pisces, you may be going through the ups and downs of emotion as you consider different possibilities that may be available to you. There is an offer of love here. Maybe you're extending your love to someone. Maybe someone is extending their love to you. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But someone here is not sure if they should take this offer. So if you're offering it to someone your love, they're not sure if that's the right thing. They're not saying yes or no, just yet. Or if there is someone offering their love to you, you may not be saying yes or no. You may be just kind of like, not sure. Let's do a Celtic cross for Pisces. I'm taking all the cards upright. These are really cute. Guys, thank you so much for your donations. They make me so happy. Sometimes I get like teary eyed and stuff. <laughs> I know it's kind of ridiculous, but I don't know. I'm just very grateful. All right. Pisces, right now you may be in a period of your life, in a moment of your life, in which you could really benefit from hard work. Maybe you feel like, oh my gosh, I should be working really hard. I'm going to devote myself to this thing that I love or this thing that is important to me. I'm going to make a plan and go all in. I'm going to put in the work, the energy, the intention. Some of you guys are doing this. You're very invested, putting in a lot of beautiful energy into something that is important to you. But others of you know that you should be doing this, but for whatever reason, you are not. But it's kind of like that, that Eight of Pentacles is very present. It's telling you, hey, you could really benefit from working hard right now, Pisces. Like, you should, you really should. And, you know, that energy is very present, whether you're acting on it or not. In the recent past, you have the star. So recently, Pisces, there was something, maybe this year, maybe in the past few months, that has turned around for the better. Could be related to work, could be related to money, could be an internal thing within yourself, but something here was granted by the universe. Maybe something that you, you've been praying for for a long time manifested, came to reality for you. And I feel like for many, many, many Pisces, this has to do with finances. We've got the Ten of Pentacles here. 
many Pisces are now seeing the abundant blessings and the powerful results of years of hard work. The Ten of Pentacles is the highest form of financial abundance, guys. And this is yours, Pisces. This is yours. You have access right now to so many opportunities and possibilities. And I know this may not resonate with every single Pisces. But I know that it will resonate with like 98% of Pisces. So it is an important message, obviously, to share. Um, the Ten of Pentacles here has been popping up in every single reading, guys. Your abundance is here, Pisces. And maybe for some of you, you need to put in the work. Don't get too comfortable. Because it's right here. It's, you, it's yours to claim. This abundance is prosperity. Now, if by any chance you are working really, really hard right now and are not seeing any improvement in that area, um, well, that could be something else. If you feel like you resonate and if you feel like that is something that would benefit you you can check out my online course abundance blueprint it's on my website the link is below and there's other resources that you can use you know if you really feel like there's something wrong you know like if there's something kind of blocked or something um, that option is there for you guys but i feel like most of you are not going to need it most of you are just flowing in this river of abundance and it's picking up momentum and velocity and you're going to find yourself in a very powerful space of in this kind of like new normal you know like your new normal is going to be something that before you would only dream about the way you live the luxuries you have the place you live in the car you drive or whatever form of transportation you use the clothes you wear, the food you eat, you know, like there's going to be a new normal for you. That is way more aligned with who you are and it gives you tons of freedom too. Right now, Pisces, this abundance is within your reach, but some of you guys are a little bit distracted. Some of you guys are thinking about the wrong thing. You may be distracted with, you know, Netflix or your, your habits or someone new. You may be distracted with something that is catching all of your attention, whether this is something that is fun for you or whether this is something that is actually quite difficult. Um, there is something stealing your attention from the focus of whatever it is that you feel you should be working on. For some of you guys, as I mentioned, this could be um, something that's very easy to grasp and bring back into control. Like Netflix or, you know, hanging out with friends or speaking on the phone for hours. Like, there's going to be some things for some of you that you can easily fix like that. But there's others of you who are actually going through difficult things and those difficult things are pulling all of your energy out from your um, goals. But you're wise enough, Pisces, to deal with this in a way that matters. Got the... I never know how to pronounce this. I say it Hierophant, but I've heard it Hierophant. I don't know. <laughs> this card. I feel like you have the wisdom to navigate these different difficult energies and understand that there will be times in which you will have the energy and the focus to do what you have to do and recognize those times. And as soon as you recognize those times, go all in. And you're going to have the wisdom to say, okay, today is not one of those days in which I'm going to be able to make progress. Today I'm not feeling well, or today I have to do all these things. I have different priorities, yada, yada, yada. And you're going to be kind of like identifying when and how to continue move, moving forward. If you're one of those Pisces that has the green light to work on what you feel like you should be working, oh my God, please do it. Take advantage of this time. 
because it's incredibly prosperous. Every seed that you plant right now is going to bloom beautifully and very quickly. So if you don't have any distractions right now, if you can go all in, please do. Please do, Pisces, because the Ten of Pentacles is waiting for you. In the near future, we've got the Five of Wands. So I see that this juggling is going to maybe take a little while. Maybe the month of July is still going to feel like there's ups and downs. It's still going to feel like you are either really focused and, you know, in a second you get like super distracted and scattered. The Five of Wands is feeling scattered. Feeling like... Like kind of mentally, what I'm getting right now is like mentally cloudy. Like one second you're super focused and you know exactly where you're going. And then the next day you're like, what was I supposed to be doing right now again? You know, like what, where was I supposed to be aiming for? You know, feeling a little bit confused, a little bit all over the place. Some of you guys... If you let it, you can be very distracted by, by a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. I mean, I see someone here speaking on the phone for hours. Or like messaging someone for hours. And, then, and this is actually taking a lot of your energy, a lot of your time. Pisces, there is a need for balance. There's nothing wrong with connecting with someone new. There's nothing wrong, you know, in accepting a love offer, getting to know someone, having fun that way. It's all good. Enjoy it. But just don't forget about yourself in the process. Don't forget about everything that you have worked so hard on. Really make sure that you are giving yourself the time and the energy first before you give it to someone else. There could be, I hate when this comes up because it's like always kind of difficult to hear. There could be someone, right? Oh, well, that's good. I feel like Pisces already knows. You can tell um, that there is someone here. Could very well be an Aries Leo Sag. This person is very charming. This person is very handsome or beautiful, well-spoken, you know, someone who's very smart and adventurous and interesting. But this person could be, right now, a little bit sneaky. They may not be telling you the whole truth. It's got the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands. This could be someone who, on the surface, appears to be spotless, you know, perfect. And when you really make sure you go deeper into who they are, what they do, why they do what they do, and whatever, you're going to notice that there's some sketchy stuff here. So be careful and just not give all of your energy to someone new, because you might regret it in the future. In the future, you may say, oh my god, like, <sighs> I thought this person was all perfect, and so I spent months giving them my all, you know, all of my energy, and then when I got to know them, a little bit deeper, I realized that I didn't like them. And I wasted all these months in which I could have been working on myself and my goals and my finances and my stability. I just spent all of that on them. And you're going to be kind of annoyed with yourself if that happens. So just make sure that even if you choose to go all deep into this person and get to know them, which you can totally do, it's perfectly fine, just don't forget about everything that you've been working so hard on. Don't forget about it. Keep moving forward. Something that I would suggest is like, okay, let's say you wake up in the morning. Win the morning first. So if, you, if your routine involves working out, do your workout. Do your work. Do everything that is important to you in the first two or three hours of the day. And then leave it completely open for you to spend as you wish. You know, if you have that, you know, obviously that space and, and control over your schedule. Um, and then, you know, if you choose to speak to this person 24-7, at least, you know, you got those three hours of productivity. And you can continue moving forward. 
even if you are dedicating most of your time to get to know this person. And I know that this is definitely not going to resonate with all of you, but for some of you, this is very important. So that's why I'm, why I'm focusing in on this message. Here we see just another person on the phone. <laughs> the Nine of Wands, Hopes and Fears. Pisces, many of you are actually investing a lot of energy into something that could potentially be a distraction because may, many of you feel like this could actually be something that you have also desired. So it's like you're working on something right now and you're trying to get to that goal, but then this other thing comes along and you're like, oh, but maybe that's the other thing that I wanted. Maybe that is the romantic relationship that I've always dreamed of. So I should definitely entertain that possibility. I thought. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. Say hi, but I'm gonna bring you back down. Say hi. <laughs> Bye. It's getting heavier and heavier every day. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I mean, that's my suggestion. Just keep going, don't give up. Try to juggle all the balls in the air if you must. But priorities, Pisces, priorities. At the end of the day, you have the Ten of Cups. Thal, what do you want to tell our Pisces? Why are you so insistent? He really wants to be here. Anyway. <laughs> Ten of Cups. So you guys do have the highest form of financial abundance showing up here. And the highest form of emotional abundance. So you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. These are the two good tens, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, this is basically you having everything that you can want. Honestly, Pisces, you are headed in a beautiful direction. Everything is flowing so incredibly beautiful for you. I don't have anything negative to say. <laughs> I don't have any warnings beside the priorities and the, you know, make sure that you're focused on what you need to be focused on. But besides that, there's nothing else I need to tell you. You've got the star. You are moving forward. It's inevitable. Like your success at this point is inevitable because you already have um, invested so much of yourself that you are already in the reward space. You know? Just don't give up and show up for yourself before you show up for anybody else. You may be thinking right now of strategy, how to move forward strategically. But the thing is, Pisces, that right now the energies are just so messy and scattered and they feel so different one moment to another that it's kind of pointless for you to really create a perfect strategy because it's going to be hard to implement because the energies are not going to be always um, stable enough for you to do what you need to do. So it is a matter of focusing on how do I feel right now? What can I do right now? <laughs> and moving along in that area. Guys, I think I need to feed Tao or something. He's being very insistent. So I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go and maybe I'm going to post another reading later. I hope that you guys don't mind. My beautiful kitty showing up here. He's being extra caring and loving. And I think he can tell that Dogo's not here anymore. And, you know. <sighs> I'm not going to go in that, into that. But yeah, I'm going to leave the reading right here. And I'm going to probably record one in the evening. I love you, my fishies. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for all of your compassionate, loving messages as far as... Um, the passing of my dog goes. Thank you. And thank you for joining me today. I love you guys. <laughs> Bye.